It's strike three back in the first inning. One of three strikeouts today for J.T. Arteaga. Now Matt Irwin calls timeout, trots out to talk to J.D. Yeah, he's getting behind those? on the hitters there. Yeah. And he's trying to tell him, you know, you got to start getting ahead of these hitters and don't want to get behind the pitcher like uh, J.D. Who's not overpowering fast? He, you know, they're going to sit on that fastball. They know he's got to come in. They don't want to. He doesn't want to walk anybody, and uh, that's when he gets in trouble when they jump that <laughs> fastball. Look at the maniac. Now you know why they call him the maniac. He does some maniacal things, and there's Mike Hodgson signifying yes, he did go around. Down one and one now here on the third sacker. Rodriguez to be followed by David Dion and Ryan Valerius. This the heart of the Tampa order. We're in the top of the fourth. Miami without a base hit leads it one to nothing. Just got a piece of that. Another nice changeup. One and two. Here's your leadoff hitter in the fourth inning. One two pitch just missed inside. Boy, he's doing an excellent job of going for corners. And he just missed on that one. Count is level. Two balls, two strikes on Rodriguez. Change oh. up. Got him swinging. A <laughs> little over anxious there. Well, the thing comes up looking like a yeah. grapefruit. Turns out to be a ping pong ball. Oof, back door to him on that one. That's four in the strikeout department now for the left-hander. And he's got Rodriguez twice. David Dion grounded out to third, first time at bat. Artiaga quickly ahead of the left fielder. Talk about an open stance. Look at that. That left foot is almost out of the batter's box. Well, not quite. And he hit that hard. Metcalf is handcuffed on it, and I'm sure they'll rule that a base hit. Tough chance for Mike Metcalf. That'll be your first yeah. hit of the ball game. He got a little inside, and a stance like that is the thing you don't want to do is pitch it inside. But. Let's see where that is. Right there, right on his. Yeah. Got down pretty good on it. It's a good pitch. Metcalf really didn't have much of an opportunity to play that ball, so they ruled it a base hit, and rightly so. Ryan Valerius takes a strike low and on the outside corner. Yeah, there's good location. That's spotting the fastball right there. Yeah, he's got a, he get he does that, and he'll be tough to hit today. J.D. looking for the inning-ending double play after surrendering the first hit of the ball game. Down low, one ball, one strike. You see the signs being put on. They're going to move him, Ron. You're going to get somebody in scoring position here, or do you let the big guy just do what he no, wants? No, I with think that they're going to. I think they ought to. I think they'll run him, get him going. They'll either hit and run, and uh, just try to get somebody yeah. in scoring position. Yeah, trying to make something happen. Uh, they'll start him up. Lilo, Lilo likes to start the runners up a little bit. And, JD oh. keeping him close, and he fouls it off to the right side. Well, sometimes, Ron, it's it's hard to get that jump start against oh, a left-hander yeah. with a good move. Yeah, and he throws over there a lot. One on, one out, one and two, the count on the big first sacker for Tampa, all 6-5 of Ryan Valerius. That's a That's double it. play ball. Metcalf over to Weicho. One. Oh, uh -oh. And he threw it into the dugout. And Dion is forced at second. Valerius, however, will go down to second base, and it is charged as an error because the runner was allowed to advance as a result. You know, Weicho didn't look like he had a grip on the ball there. It looks like it slipped out of his hand or something. It is perfect. That's room service right there. There he goes. Flip. See if he does. See, he doesn't look, doesn't look like he had a, a good grip on it. You know, sometimes getting in your hand in there, couldn't get his fingers on it. Looked like he had it in, in, with all four or five fingers there, and, and uh, it's a tough throw to make. So Valerius reaches second on the throwing error by Weicho. First error of the ball game for the Canes. And Lance Chambers jumps away from an inside fastball. Had the runner not advanced, of course, had it not gone into the dugout, you would not have called it an error because you can't anticipate a double play. Right. However, on the overthrow, he does advance. 
So one error for the Canes, a couple so far for Tampa. That ball hit hard towards center field. Thompson, though, has got it covered. And Bruce one-hands it, and that's the inning. So a bit of a threat here for the Spartans, but they come away empty as well. They do get the first hit of the ball game, and now three and a half at the light. Miami leads it, one zip. Grassroots baseball, hurricane style. Great stuff. What we need to do. Western Carolina and Miami, Saturday night at 7.30, live on Sunshine. It happens. You're not supposed to lose. But you do. And you remember everything. Every round, every punch. Most of all, you remember the man who beat you. And you don't forget. Revenge. Four championship rematches, Saturday, May 7th. Live on pay-per-view. It's the Goodyear 4 for 3 sale, going on now at your Goodyear retailer. Buy three Goodyear tires at the regular price and get the fourth tire free. Like the innovative Goodyear AquaTread wet weather radial, perfect for Florida driving, rain or shine. Buy three and get the fourth tire free. Plus, get professional tire mounting by Goodyear trained tire specialists in 59 minutes or less. For four for three savings and professional service, visit your nearby Tampa Goodyear retailer. It's full throttle Thursday night and sunshine speeding with pedal to the metal racing action. Top drivers and top riders rev it up. Get in the driver's seat and get into full throttle Thursday night as sunshine rolls with racing coverage. Do you think moms love flowers? And why not? They got the best variety right here at the University of Miami. And the Canes right now on the long end of the score as we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Bruce Thompson leading off. Of course, as we told you earlier, his mom looking in uh, on the ball game over in Brandon, takes it the other way, and it is fouled off. Yeah, you got a lot of moms to say happy Mother's Day. I hope we can get them all in. Jim Morris's mom, Jesse, is looking in. So a very happy Mother's Day, Mrs. Morris, if I may, Jesse. Way, way up there in North Carolina. There you go. And we've got uh, Turtle Thomas, whose uh, mom has wished a very happy Mother's Day. His mom's name is Margaret. Brown ball to third. Rodriguez fires to first. Boy, he had a little steam on yes, that one. Yes, he did. Nice. Turtle's mom's in North Carolina. Is she too? Oh, yeah, there's on, another Tar Heel. Two wishes up that way. That's unreal right there. Glad to have the ladies with us today. And that'll bring up Danny Buxbaum with one out, nobody on. We're in the bottom of the fourth. Miami without a base hit, leading one to nothing. Danny went down swinging. One of two strikeouts for Graham. Fastball low. Well, the family's looking in over in the, uh, up in uh, the Alachua area of uh, Danny Buxbaum. High Springs, actually. That one's over at the knees. And let's see, we should say a very happy Mother's me? Day to his mom, Harriet, and uh, dad, Fred, looking on. Don't worry, Fred, it'll be your day pretty soon. Father's Day coming up. Ground ball down the third baseline is foul. See, I feel like Harry Carey today, I was gonna you know? Say, yeah. <laughs> Doing a good job, Luke. Yeah, but I'm only too happy to yeah. do so. I'll tell you, Mom's Those Day is something special. You got it. They're the best. One ball, two strikes to count on uh, Bucks Bomb with Alex Cora to follow. Ooh, check swing back in the seats. A little bit high, may have. Yeah. Just getting a little anxious there. Yeah, he may have swung at a ball, but you know, you don't take chances with two no. strikes. This guy mixes him up nicely. I like his location. Change of speed. Yeah. It's good pitcher. Got to look for, see him throw that slurve now. That was the yeah, pitch, too. Yeah. Two balls, two strikes. You know, you saw the block there by Usri, and you say, well, you know, so what? Nobody's on base. Well, here's so what. If the batter swings and misses and he gets by him, you know, he's got a free base. So that's why the catcher's got to go after everything. Ball hit in the air very softly. Could be trouble. Backing up is Kelly. Coming on right field. Drops in for a base hit. A little flare. And a good pitch, too. Uh, what's going on? Well, those are the kind of pitches that nine out of ten times you're going to die out on that one. Oh, yeah. Let's see where that was. Oh. You know, it's so tough there. No, nobody knows they can get to it, and so they don't yell, and all you got all three guys coming at the same time. You got to give Curry some style points on that uh, half gainer <laughs> yeah, <he's laughs> attempt. Like but I think they lost it in the sun a little bit. Yeah. 
Alex Cora reached on an error by the shortstop first time at bat, takes a ball. I had to read it. Very high sky today. Boy, when you're a hitter, you just love hits like that. They make up for all those line drives right into somebody's glove. Give me a bleeder any day of the week. There's one solid base hit. Bucks bomb will move up one station. So runners at first and second, two quick hits for the Canes and something going. Miami had a seven run inning here last night. Good thing they did because they were trailing. That's right, they were down four to three at one point. Base hit for Alex Cora. You know, they're, they're a strong, but Tampa's strong ball club right up the middle. And of course that makes it tough. They got the good catcher who can throw. They got a good shortstop second base situation and they got a good center fielder. And with good pitching, they're awful tough to beat. Here's Rick Gama, who has some relatives looking on in Mexico today. Breaking pitch on the inside part of the plate. Nice pitch from Graham. So I guess what we said uh, for Alex Cora goes as well for Gama's relatives. Feliz Dia Desmadres. The best, though. I hope that's right. Uh -huh. There's a little check on Cora, and he dives back in, or Bucksbaum, I should say, dives back in. Runners at first and second, one away. Best run of the game so far for Miami, even though they did get a run. That was without a base hit. Foul down the right side. Coming over is Valerius. Uh-oh, to he lost it in the sun, oh. too. You're right, Ron. Yeah. High sky. High tough sky. to pick Real up. Tough. That's first two hits. Base hits for the Canes today. Yep. One was just a flare. The other yeah. was roped. Now, this man was defenseless, wasn't he? Yeah, he's... He just gave up right away on that. That's a tough one. As you saw, it uh, falls untouched. No balls, two strikes. The count on Rick Gama. So the right-hander Gary Graham, who's won eight games this year, set to go to work. Breaking pitch, hit toward right field. It'll be a base hit. I don't know if Danny can score on that one, though. Here's the throw, cut off by Valerius. I think he uh, might have had a chance had he yeah. come, but no reason to That's take a no, chance. No, there's no reason. Get one down and... As it turned out, not a very good throw by Curry, but I think Valerius could have fielded it, relayed it, and got him. Let's see. Let's take a look. He did a good job of hitting here, though, taking that pitch the other way. Outside pitch, stays with it. Good piece of hitting. Take it out of the clubhouse and go. So it gives a yeah. great golden opportunity to the catcher, Matty Irwin, coming up. Matt with the bases juiced, as we always say. He popped out to the second baseman first time up. Breaking pitch low. Well, here it is. Base is loaded. Here's the, th the situation here. The only thing you can't do is here, you can't strike out in a situation like that. He's got to put it in play. Well, Matt uh, would like to say happy Mother's Day to Mom, as well as uh, Chris and Mindy looking on out in California by satellite. Pitch over for strike. One ball, one strike. Rudy Gomez to follow the designated hitter. Bases are loaded, only one away. Miami, with three singles, has loaded the bases. Good block behind the plate by Brian Ussery. I, like his, I like his mechanics, Ron. Yes, he is. A good one. Shifts real well. And, you know, Erwin uh, it got off to a little bit of a slow start, but he's, uh, he's such an integral part of this ball club now. Does a great job defensively throwing people out, and, and, he's, and he's swinging that bat. Uh, he's he's come he's come a long way and come fast. Yeah, he has indeed with yes, the average has, in yeah. the 250s. When you consider he was down in the 100s uh, early in the season, he's really swinging a hot bat of late. Yeah, golden opportunity, 2-1 pitch about to be served up, but instead uh, Graham backs off. You know what happens in the come in from junior college like that, and, uh, and nobody knows him, and uh, he wants to show everybody he can play this game. That's why he's there, and uh, maybe tries a little bit too hard. And, Oh, he drills that one to center field, but it's going to be right to Chambers. Tagging is Bucks bomb. He'll come in to score. Let's see if the run counts. They said the run does not, not count because they nailed the runner, Alex Cora, at second base. Boy, that's a base running blunder, folks, and it turns into a double play from eight to six. And Miami oh, gets three it. hits but fails to score. Now at the end of four complete here at the light, Miami continues to lead 1-0.
If you're like most women golfers I meet, you want to improve your golf game. There's no better, faster,